Good morning. Today is the 27th of April, uh, 27 de abril del año 2020. Um, this video is going to be helping you with your math page for today and tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, lunes y martes. Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick review with you guys on place value. We started this and we did a lot of it just before we had to finish, stop coming to school. And so I want to review those things with you and I want to see what you can remember. Okay, so I want to work with the number 35. Okay, when we are talking about place value, think about when we were counting how many days we were in school. Okay, think about, I would ask you how many tens and how many ones. Okay, so let's look at the number 35. Now, if you look up top, I have it marked for you. These are the tens and these are the ones. Okay, so if we look at the number 35 and I ask you, how many groups of 10 are in the number 35? What would you tell me? You should tell me there are three groups of 10. Now, if you remember, we also used our counters. Remember, we've got our groups of 10 here that are all stacked together in one stack. Okay? So we have one, two, three groups of 10, right? Okay, now my next question is how many ones are in the number 35? Go over to that ones column. How many ones? Five ones. Okay, so if you remember, we used our individual cubes to show those ones. So I have one, two, three, four, and five, okay? You can see all five cubes in my hand. All right, so I'm gonna set these, they both sit on our ledge here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so right there, I am showing the number 35 with our three groups of 10 and our five ones. Okay, that's showing the number 35. Now, what if I asked you to tell me the number that comes before 35? What would you tell me? El numero antes de 35 es... 34, 34, right? It still has three tens, but one before, we take away that one and it becomes 34. Now, what if I asked you, what is the number after 35? El numero después de 35. ¿Qué es? 36, 36, right? After 35, if we're counting, we say 34, 35, 36, okay? Now, something that we did a little bit of, but not much, that you are going to have to do on your worksheet, okay? Down here at the bottom, it says to make 26 with tally marks. Now, we did very little on tally marks, so I want to review that and reteach that with you today, okay? Tally marks, remember, come in groups of five, okay? And there's a way to mark it so we know that that group is done and full with five, okay? So if I were to make 35 with tally marks, remember, they're just lines, okay? I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four. Stop there. Only four that go vertical. They go vertical, top to bottom, okay? Number five, to mark that it's a group of five, it's done, is we take it and we go at an angle, that inclined line, remember we learned about? So you have four vertical lines, up and down, and one that is inclined. So I have five, but I need 35, okay? So I've got five, we're gonna keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
19, I've got four, so 20, I finish my group. 21, 22, 23, 24, finish the group. 25, do I have enough? Let's count and see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Do I have enough? I don't, I need 35, so I need 10 more. How many groups of five is 10? Two more groups of five, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There's one group, one more. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, I think I've got enough, but let's count and make sure, okay? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Do I have enough tally marks? To equal my number here of 35? Yes, I do. Okay, so I would be done with my tally marks. Now, if I was doing like 36, I would just have to put one more and that would show 36. Okay, but we wanted 35. So we've got 35. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope you do well on your worksheet. Okay, so your worksheet, quick review, you're going to trace the number 26 and write a few more. Number 26 is 26, and then you're going to trace the words for 26. Over here, you have to tell me how many tens are in the number and how many ones are in the number. Okay. This section right here, you're going to circle or color the group of blocks that shows 26. So you've got to find how many groups of tens? Two groups of tens. So this one has two, but this one has two. So it could be either one. And how many ones will it have? It'll have six ones. So you decide and circle or color them in. Okay. Down here, it says color 26 circles. So you've got to count one, two, three, four, five, and color 26 of those circles. You're gonna fill in the missing numbers and then make your tally marks for this one, for the number 26, just like we did right over here, okay? So you're gonna use these strategies for your worksheet on Monday, lunes, your worksheet on martes, Tuesday, okay? I think your number for Tuesday, your special number is 18, okay? So do your best. Um, I know it's been a while since we talked about this, but I want you to do your best and we will see how it goes. Goodbye, guys.